So for starters, we need grow beds. This is never going to be straight. <laughs> Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Gross. Ah, oh, we're out. I think I think I think we got some in here though in the sea moth. All right, so we're going to need at least a couple of these because we need to put the gel sack in here. So we need to put, let's put that there. And when that grows more, we'll add more to it. Whoa. Um, we'll put the gel sack in one. Wherever we put that thing. I don't know where, but we put it somewheres. Was it in the last one? There it is. Now, can we just plant these gel sacks or do we need to break them? Also, we need to make more solar panels. God, that's a lot of titanium, isn't it? I mean, I guess we have a bunch, but still. A lot of quartz too. Um, yeah, do we, can we just plant these things or do we have to destroy them? Let me look it up real quick, gel sack. I think we can break them to make, yes, you can harvest gel sack spores by using a knife and I think I think we can do that with the mushrooms too, so we need to do that with all of them. So that will be our blood kelp. We're gonna put some mushrooms in here and some deep shrooms in here, and then we're gonna make another one of these for the gel sacks. That's close enough. And we'll put the gel sack in there. Okay, now we should be able to... There we go. Cool. Those will begin growing into beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little gel sacks. Um, and we have to do the same thing for these, I believe. Yeah. My inventory's full. I have to be careful with these. I think these spit out. No, apparently not. Never mind. Nope, never mind. This will give us a healthy supply of acid mushrooms. We'll have deep shrooms for when we start using those. We'll have blood kelp for when we start needing this. And we'll have gel sacks. Nice. All right, cool. And then what we're going to do to get things homely looking, we're going to build a multi-purpose room. Mm. My thing is in the way. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're about to eat a lot of lantern fruit, aren't we? Welcome aboard, Captain. Huh? Fill up our water. <laughs> Picking this thing dry.
Perfect. Let's build it on the other side. If we put an interior grow bed in here, Ah, here we go. We can get some marble melons in here when we go back up to base. Perfect. For now, this will just do its job. Um, oh yeah, we can also build a... Um, water filtration system. Oh, we need aerogel. We need... Um, for aerogel, we need gel sacks. So it's going to be a little while. And we need rubies, too. It's a good thing we collected all those. I think we have a whole bunch of them somewhere. We have two. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We don't have a lot. Okay. Can I put, like, a spotlight out here? What do I need to put a, a spotlight out here? Coffee vending machine. Nice. So exterior. I need glass. All right. Well, then never mind. I guess we're just going to go without it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's build another multi-purpose room out here. Maybe this won't work how I thought it would. Unless I just build one little multi-purpose room with a single thing on it. A single... Uh... I don't really care that much, though. So maybe I won't worry about it. I was going to build like one with an observatory in it. and 58%. My children, they grow. They grow, my children. Okay, then. Well, how can I make this work? I should be able to build one here. Why won't you stack? Oh, it's because of the... It's because of the toys I put down there. Really? All right. Now I should be able to build it, right? Perfect. Now with this one, this will be where the alien containment unit goes. Which I'm fine with. And what we're going to do to make things look extra fancy, can I make a window? I wonder. Where's my quartz? Make some glass. Can't put things on my window, can I? Oh, I can. I was going to put it there, but I guess, you know what? Maybe I won't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'll just say whatever. Okay, um, so that's fine. If that's the case, then we're going to build any quartz, not glass. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I can build some of these. Get a couple more of these going, because we're going to need some for the the plant thing. And this will just give us more power. I need titanium and copper. Okay, that's fine. I have copper. I am out of titanium. Titanium is becoming a problem now. We're going to need to get a whole lot of it pretty soon. Perfect. Okay, now we have enough. Um, how do we want to do this then? You guys done yet? Oh, you guys are very close. 
Very close to being able to be harvested. Yes. Very good. Yes. Yes. Alright, so let's make one copper. Um... Other meta. <laughs> that works. Okay, copper can go in here. Other metals. Lead goes in there. Gold, silver. Glass. Here we go. This will be where all of our quartz and glass goes. Okay. These go in here. Uh, let me... Let me swap these out. Put that in there real quick. Okay. I think we build a couple more storage lockers. I really don't need you, but I'm going to put you like, you're going to go like right there. Gregory, George, I mean, you my boy. Going right there. Perfect. All right. We're going to put our water filtration units in here. Now, don't tell me how, because I don't know, but we're going to figure it out together as a team. Um, what do we need for it, even? Copper wire and aerogel. Well, we can probably get the uh, aerogel now. Because aerogel needs gel sack and a ruby. So we can at least grab one of those gel sacks. And destroy the other two. We can plant the rest of these. That's even more of them. I need to make like a trash. Can I even make a trash out here? I don't think I can. I need to make something to like toss this stuff, man. Does, does this even, like, get rid of stuff? Put you, like, right there. Because now I can technically, like, throw these things in there. Okay, cool. Let's make aerogel. I need rubies. I forget where rubies are. There. There. Okay, that's an aerogel. And then we need copper wire, which I think I just put away all my copper in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. That will give us an unbelievable amount of salt, too, if I remember correctly. Yes. My creation. My creation. Yes. 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 Look at it go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, well. Let's finish up taking care of these mushrooms, shall we? 
put the rest of these in here. And then we can throw out the rest of them, I guess. I don't know what we would do with the rest of these. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Okay, nice. Now we have a full, a full thing of acid mushrooms and deep shrooms, which is perfect. Because now, anytime we need to build this stuff, we'll have perfect access to it. Now, I do want, do I even have titanium for it? I don't. I'm completely out now. <laughs> no. All right, which means we're going to need to go somewhere. You're out too. Okay, cool. Well, because we need to get a whole bunch of titanium. Oh, I can't put you here. Oh, you know what? Sweet, you're going to go there then. And now this thing will work hard to take care of that. I don't think... We need to get marble melons for this thing, like super bad. So you have to go to the island. To the main island. So we can get a bunch of marble melon seeds to put in there. And grow. I guess we can, like, grab some fish, too. Actually, I think... I think these mushrooms actually provide quite a bit of stuff to it as well. But I don't know how much... We get a couple of fish. These things will feed into it nicely as well. And eventually, this is going to be a much more like long-term power source. Although, I guess we could probably build a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of the other stuff. That should keep us going for a good while. And then when the sun's out, we'll be able to sit there and work on that. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, out we go. Pretty much empty, I believe. Let's cook this bladder fish real quick for some sustenance. Should be it. It was not a lot of food. But yeah, let's put our cave sulfur back, huh? Be a good idea. All right, so on the way back, we need to find a couple of different things. A. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go here first. It's 250 meters down. Let's go here. Let's get this thing and then head back. And any wreckage that we find along the way, we'll have to pick up, for obvious reasons. And we've broken down into things that we need. There might be a bunch down here too. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> I'm unsure. Break these down for minerals too. Lead. We can scan these. We're pretty much going to need to stop collecting glass or salt no we could do it might be a bit of a chore but we might be able to actually put some thermal generators down here 
in front of that thing. That might work too. I do want a storage locker of coral as well. I think that that is a, a thing that we need. Lead is needed. We need a lot of magnetite for that, which means we're going to need to go back. Yeah, we got the thing in here that we needed, I think. But I think there's something around here that we are going to need. I'm going to go get this real quick. Or it's just going to despawn. I'm not going to be allowed to get it, apparently. Nah, we don't need that. Uh. Okay. So let me check. Uh. Repair tool. Okay. Now. There was a video. That was pulled up just a minute ago. In which we're going to have to use to find this thing. Sorry if the if the game starts lagging uh, for a bit. So he goes all the way to this thing. So he's pretty much hovering over it. Well, he is hovering over it, I guess. And he goes a little bit higher and past it, huh? A little bit higher, past it, and to the left. Okay, I know where it is. So it's right there. So, or to the right, not left, my bad. It's over this way, it looks like. There it is. I thought it was someplace in, in the bulb zone. I just wasn't sure where. It's fine. We got a lot of stuff we can scan around here anyways. A lot of titanium around here for us. I don't know if it's in here or if it's around it, but we're going to find out anyways. Hey, look, a water filtration system. <laughs> that would have been nice. Let's see if it's in here. Some lockers. Some door things we can cut open. Mayhaps we'll find it in here. And then when the real work begins, what are you doing? Don't let go. Cut that bad boy open. Stasis rifle, classic, carry all, classic. That was it. I don't believe you. I didn't want that. Drop it. No, that can't be it. It's got to be like somewhere around here. Alien containment just saw it. Yeah, baby. We got the alien containment, son. Consider this place 
contained. Need more things. Now we could go back to the bulb zone as well to get some of the necessary, uh, whatever it's called. What's the name of it? It's like, uh, magnetite to build some geothermal stuff. Cause I think that we're going to need quite a bit of it. You know what? Collect some of these guys. Not only for sustenance, but for, uh, really for whatever we want to use them for. <laughs> Throw them in the bioreactor. Alive. Am I full? I'm full. Okay, cool. There you are. It's like, where's my sea moth? All right, and then back to base we go. Beautiful. We got what we need. Now we just need to know how to build it. How do we build it? Hold on. Oh, gosh. All right, you know what? We'll find out later. Can't even see anything. <laughs> so dark. It's so dark. You know, honestly, I wouldn't mind the uh, day cycles being a little bit longer, but what are you going to do? And then, what we'll do after this is we'll uh, we'll go back to the under to the mushroom area, and we'll get a whole bunch of magnetite and like gems and stuff from there. Fill up a storage locker full of like you know magnetite and all that, and then we'll have enough of that to make kind of whatever we want. And all will be good. Need to build a lot more of these things too, like a lot more. I can have enough. Welcome aboard, Captain. Enough power. Because man, look at how fast this stuff is draining. Yeah, we'll cook one. Make ourselves a little bit of a snack. Pop you in there, take one out, have a little snack. Um, disinfected water. Oh, it's close. And there's our salt, and we can start using that for uh, for our alien containment unit. Uh, speaking of which, five glass. All right, well. Gonna need some of that, I guess. We got some metal salvage. Hey, get out of my base. All right, plenty of titanium now. Uh, so let's build some more storage. Not gonna be enough space, is it? No, I didn't think so. Oh, well, I guess we can build more here. Okay, let's put our gems in here. I guess that's what we'll call it. Trash can is in the way, yeah. I guess we can move that. It really doesn't matter too much that it's right there. Put you there. And then we can build another trash can, like, I don't know. Kind of don't want it to be, like, super in the way. Oh, wait, you know what I probably do? Oh, he's a genius. What does it do? It allows you to put things 